Hi, this is Eric Slew from NTPro.nl and I want to set something straight. Last Sunday I recorded a video about uh, reservations per second, a new ESIC stop uh, metric, but I completely did it the wrong way. And on, to on top of that, uh, last, last Wednesday we had a community podcast with John Troyer and Krishna and uh, he was the one who presented the TA6720 session at the VM World in Copenhagen. And he was the reason why I did my little test, but I completely did it the wrong way. And he kindly pointed out how to do it the right way. So here I am at a Friday night, my wife is in town, my kids are sleeping, and I'm going to try it to do it the right way. So first of all, I'm going to show you my, uh, my setup. Uh, I have a virtual machine located on my uh, ESX4-L, it's the left server, and there is a virtual machine located on it, and this virtual machine is running Windows 7, and the disk of this virtual machine is hosted on iSCSI. And this virtual machine, the console of this virtual machine, is opened up in my, uh, my cool utility, the VM client. And uh, what I did earlier is that I ran a test with HD Tune Pro to see the throughput of the virtual disk in this virtual machine. And we can see that the, 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 the iSCSI target is based on an iOmega iX2 uh, from EMC and uh, it's doing around 20 MBs per second. So Chad, if you're watching this video, I'm still waiting for my iX4, by the way. So I recorded uh, this measurement. It's running uh, on the iSCSI target, but I didn't introduce any locks. So what you can see here is uh, the ESX top session. It's running on ESX4-L on the same ESX host where the virtual machine is also running. But I have opened up another session uh, to my ESXR server and I've written, I've written a little nifty script called loop the loop point, uh, it's a loop script, loop point sh. So if I'm going to show you, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm not real good at uh, writing best scripts, but this is the best where I came up with. I'm introducing a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, touch actions on test.csv, and test.csv is located on uh, my iSCSI target, so VMFS volume iSCSI, but I'm running this from ESXR, so my uh, the right server is going to introduce a lot of uh, metadata changes, because the touch command will uh, change the date of my test.csv file, and every time uh, there is, for instance, a change of date on a file on a VMFS, there is a lock on your uh, LUM. So the right server is going to generate a lot of locks and the left server will be used to see the throughput and see the number of conflicts because the LUM is locked by the right server uh, because of the touch of the test.csv. And in this virtual machine I'm going to run my throughput again. So let's take a close watch at the amount of data I could write without any locks on the LUN. It's around 20 MB for write and it is around 10 to 15 MB for uh, write and 20 MB for read. So uh, first of all, let's start with introducing uh, the locks. So the locks are running. Let's now st uh, start with generate some disk I.O. Let's look at the conflicts. You already see this figure rising right here. So it's now on 7.8, it's on 9.7. So in my earlier video, I was just introducing a lot of reservations with what, which was not the right thing to do it. But now you can actually see that the SCSI LUN is locked by the ESXR server. And when the ESXL server is trying to write on it through this virtual machine, you will see that there is a uh, there is uh, uh, some locking on it. What you also will notice is that the throughput of my uh, iSCSI target will be will be far more l uh, less than uh, without any intro, without any locks. So we, we have to wait for a little while, but then eventually it will pick up and it will show you 
I think that I'm not getting to the 20 MBs per second. So this is very extreme what I'm doing right now. I'm introducing a lot of uh, locks because I'm touching the file continuously. So uh, the right server is uh, yeah, putting a lot of locks on uh, on this iSCSI uh, volume. So let's wait a while and see what, uh, what the throughput will be with this amount of locks on the iSCSI LUN. So I'm going to pause the video for a few seconds and I'm I will return when uh, when this uh, diagram is filled up. Well, it, uh, it took a while before the file was created, but what you can see is that uh, the conflicts are still very high. Uh, the throughput is not that much anymore, and I'm actually doing now around 5 MBs per second, and that's because of the script that's still running on ESXR, still looping my... Uh, looping my uh, my touch uh, action on the VMFS so it so the, the the read actions will gain up until 10 12 MB but it used to be 20 MB so this is a real good proof that uh, locking or changing the metadata a lot is not a good idea because it will degrade your storage performance so uh, I want to thank John Troyer for the VMware c Community Podcast every Wednesday. And uh, I also want to thank uh, Krishna, who was uh, kindly enough to watch my wrong video. And I hope he will approve the video I have recorded this evening. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.